me. I meant the signs. What exactly am I looking for? Grip. It's a small red box. Should be inside a red barn. The red barn full of freaks? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go there without knowing it's worth my time. Listen, that information doesn't concern you. If the freakers are a problem, just wait until nightfall. They'll go outside, and you'll have your window to grab it, okay? Every time I find myself in one of these Nero checkpoints I can't stop but to think what actually happened here. And I mean you can see it for yourself, you got abandoned cars, the gates are wide open and it's funny because in the beginning they set up these checkpoints to try and contain the infection. But as we all know now the only thing it did right was to serve as a feeding ground for most of these hordes. So the people who ran in the end just became food. I don't know just some uh, food for thought. And yes, I hear that as well. So it seems like it's a very small horde here. It's funny how they all go out at night and, I don't know, have a shower. We're gonna drop a grenade on them though, see if they like it more. seems like most of them um, stayed below, which is good. I have no idea how many of them are left, so we're gonna take it nice and easy. I came here just to do that. But that was pretty effective. The grenade, again, there weren't much of them, but good way to save ammo. I'm thinking they were probably sleeping in the little hut, which is so small, but you would be surprised at how tight these guys can sleep. I'm guessing, you know, it's winter and they all want to cuddle. And, you know, I can respect that. This is kind of dark, though. There's a dead body up top and blood coming down below it makes you think was someone feeding the freaks and i think i've seen this somewhere else another show but yeah guys i think it's time to take a sleep rest up and come back tomorrow so we don't end up like this uh, poor fella It's a small red box. Should be inside a red barn. The red barn full of freaks? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go there without knowing it's worth my time. Listen, that information doesn't concern you. If the freakers are a problem, just wait until nightfall. They'll go outside, and you'll have your window to grab it, okay? John them, it better be worth it. For all of the hidden mystery behind the mask, I gotta be honest here, the guy was right, they do come out at night, 
And the funny part is, they're all going towards the fallen trains. Now, I have heard stories about these trains before. When it all began, they were used to transport bodies out of odd spots, and as we can see, one of them derailed in front of a massive horde. So ever since then, it keeps feeling it every single night. And unless I'm careful, I'm gonna be part of the menu too. There is one freaker right below me and I am not exactly sure where, probably inside the building, and not knowing where he is, is probably the scariest part. So for now I'm gonna stick with the rooftops, I figure there's a better chance of survival if I can see them before they see me. Okay, so as expected, they're all focused on having dinner with the decomposing bodies down there. And that's good to me because on the right side it seems fairly clear. So if I manage to find a door, hell, even a window to get through, we can probably get in, grab the box and get out without being spotted. At least that's the plan B. Plan A is not getting eaten, which kind of begs the question. Steve, why exactly is it me doing this and not one of your guys? That sounds like a huge problem. Figured I'd get the goddamn box. Yeah, well, only because I am stupid enough to get along with your stupid planets that put me in stupid, awkward, and most of the time life threatening situations. Yeah, you better not answer that. At any point now, a screamer could come out of the woods, spot me and shout to the entire world exactly where I am, which is pretty much a game over and I get served as hot food, and he doesn't get the box. At least some good news could come out of that. Okay, okay, we're getting close now. I should be able to get a better view once I get to the wall here. Okay, so there's a silo in front, but I might actually be able to use it as cover. So not so long now. Man, these freaker sounds are freaking me out, and there's no pun in that. I am so outgunned right now that it just feels unnatural to be doing this. And we're not even inside the building yet, but that window right there sure looks like an entrance. Hey V, what floor is the box supposed to be at? I have no idea. Just keep looking for it, okay? That's not reassuring at all. I keep seeing all of these red toolboxes, but nothing that remotely looks like a Nero one. So I'm just gonna keep looking, I guess. Yeah, this is harder than I thought. I'm gonna try to go for the rooftop and access the cellar, maybe. And if you ever wondered what 500 freakers look like, well, here it is. And all of those nice bodies over there can't even rot because of the snow. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet that lasts seemingly forever. Anyways, not my type of meal. I'm more of a Francine kind of guy, and if you know, you know, and if you don't know, You'll never know. Bright red box with a white cross in the middle. Bring any belts. <laughs> Where do I drop it? Radio in tomorrow. I'll give you the coordinates of the drop off point then. Tomorrow? What am I supposed to do until tomorrow? So, there's a Nero checkpoint just south of the sawmill. Hunker down there for the night, and wait until sunrise. No, no, I can't eat. Jenny has no fuel, and the doors are wide shut. You gotta meet me here. It's getting cold, I don't have a lot of fuel anymore, and I am far away from any settlement. Okay, well, there's something else you can try. Northeast of the sawmill, there's an old ambush camp, and below it, a bunker. Last time we did a sweep, that area was clear. 
but it's been a while since we've checked it. If you've got a better idea, be my guest. Otherwise, Custer, good luck, good night, and sleep tight. Hopefully, I'll speak to you in the morning. Yeah, hopefully. So remember the ambush camp we were talking about? Yeah, it's full of people. Are you sure you don't want to come over here and pick up the box yourself? Custer, do not let them take that box. You need to bring it to me. Do you understand? I'll see what I can do. Get around. Before I move in, I gotta take care of the sniper and after that, I think, I should probably go around. Yeah. The problem with the camp is that they're all behind cover. So, I think the best way to go about it is to flank from the right and use the trees as cover. But, um, yeah. No certainty. Hmm. What is she doing? She might have heard me, I think. Look at all the booby traps over here. They were definitely expecting company. If you hang people, you're gonna get it anyways. One more left, I don't know exactly where he is, he just shot me, but I counted 14 kills, so I'm pretty sure there's only this one last guy left, and we just killed the really armored guy as well, so that's the bunker keeper, I think, so this has to be it, this has to be the last one, and I think I know where he is, yeah. Bye bye. Okay, so there were people here, um, but I think we did a good job. Time to find the bunker. I really want to know if these guys have anything of value in there. Maybe some ammo, some food? Pretty small bunker. Probably one of the smallest ones I have seen, especially for such a large camp, but it's gonna do. Tomorrow, though, big they. Okay, Beef, where do I leave the box? Follow the Mighton Road to Sherman's camp. Eventually, you're gonna come across a stop sign before crossing Robert's Bridge. Next to it is a Mighton Road. Take it. Walk the road until you've reached the combine of a green fence, Santium Industries. There should be a green dilapidated building. Go inside. Follow the stairs up and leave it behind one of the desks. What was our agreement? 500 Twinkies? Yeah, well, 
There should be in a box at the location we discussed. Guster, do not lose that box. Thought I'd see that again. Days, weeks, time doesn't mean much in the dark. <laughs> Maybe I've lost my mind down there. <laughs> ah, death. She's always been a close companion. Hmm. Company sheds. Oh, they stash supplies there. Could be food, medicine, or just another disappointment. Xantium. Oh, the tales people tell. Booby traps on the stairs. Ah, but I've survived worse than legends and whispers. But I can't use the main door, that's for sure. Gotta be smart. What's this? Fancy looking box. Not what I came for. Maybe it's worth something. Or, maybe it's trouble. <laughs> Either way, it seems I've got a knack for finding both. Of course. Everyone wants something in this world, and they'll sure as hell do anything to get it. <laughs> 